days like one through five of quarantine were cool but every day after day five it's like i want to work 40 hours a week again i want to go outside every time every time i think about going outside i feel like i'm gonna get in trouble by the government like i'm i'm tired she say i'm a sweeter man but she said she don't need a man hi guys it's naira welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before what up guys how are you all i hope everybody is staying safe in this very um unique weird scary unpredictable time i i hope everyone is doing good seriously with all that serious stuff out the way what it do baby um it's like 9 30 it's nine o'clock what time is it it's 9 19. i don't want to do my makeup just to be quarantined all night just to play sims 4 and and fold laundry how about you <laughs> how about you so yeah today is just a quarantine get ready with me for nothing get ready with me for nothing because i'm not allowed to leave the house and it was such a beautiful day outside today too like ugh, i want to be out wearing thought clothes and i gotta be in the house like life is hard brows micro brow pencil you already know the vibes oh my god what if you run out of makeup during quarantine like that's when i would really lose it if i run out of foundation like my favorite eyebrow product or something oh it's a wrap it's a wrap lord you can take me now you can take me now lord i'm ready i'm in a very unique situation because i have an autoimmune disease so if i contract it things aren't gonna be pretty <laughs> my immune system hates me but at the same time i am an essential worker i work for an eye doctor's office so like i am still working just super reduced hours we're all only working one day a week right now um which is like nuts so i do have to leave the house still and i live in north carolina north carolina doesn't go under like an actual quarantine even though i've been self-isolating because like i said i have an autoimmune disease north carolina doesn't go into an actual stay at home order like quarantine until monday which is in two days aren't we just having the time of our lives out here guys i love all the tweets that are like when y'all said 2020 was gonna be a movie, what genre did you mean? <laughs> Apocalyptic. I can't wait for life to go back to normal. Like we took for granted so many small things. And now, now look at us. Now just look at us. I will never take for granted going to the mall again. Like just being able to go and just like window shop and look at stuff. Or like going to just eat at a sit down restaurant like oh my god how quickly our privileges can be snatched from us and i do want this video to be lighthearted, so i'm just gonna touch on this quickly and then move on um i really 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 do feel sorry for anyone who is dealing with like um they've lost their job or they don't know how they're gonna pay their bills or anything like that like i'm that is so sad and scary and i'm so sorry if any of you are dealing with that or if you know someone or if you're affected it's just the whole thing sucks and it's really scary and I'm really sorry if any of you are dealing with that. However, I do really like that being quarantined and like being forced to like be stuck in the house and like I can't go to work and all that. It is doing wonders for my creative release and surprisingly, my mental health. A lot of times my mental health is on the rocks. Side note, um, that's a saying I got from my older sister. She said one time that, um, someone that we knew that their mental health was on the rocks and that's not funny but the way she said it was the funniest thing in the world to me like you usually say that about someone's marriage or something like i don't know that was hilarious to me but usually my mental health is on the rocks and like being forced to like stay in the house and um not being able to go you know live life with all my other distractions at first initially it was not good for me mentally but these past few days I'm thriving because I get to be home and creative and I don't have to beat myself up like, oh, I didn't load the dishwasher or, you know, if I didn't work so much, I could do this at home or I could do that at home or I could do these hobbies. Like, I have free time now. And what's scary about that is like having free time should not be that big of a deal to us. Like, it's, it's crazy that we live in a society where so much of our time is taken up from working like traditional nine to five jobs which is why I know I just ain't built for that. I'm just not. Like 40 hours is a lot of time. Like 
oh my god I cannot work 40 hours for the rest of my life I just I can't do it and some people can I'm not like I'm not sitting here like talking down on it um because there's something for everybody I'm just like literally objectively saying it isn't for me um and I ain't gonna lie having free time hit different especially now that um I don't feel like I'm forcing myself to be productive anymore. Like the first few days of quarantine such isolation, you're like, oh, I'm home. I can do nothing. I'm past that. I don't want to do nothing anymore. I want to keep myself busy and be creative and, you know, and guys, please, 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 pretty please with the cherry on top. Let me know like some of your favorite like content you're consuming right now. It can be YouTubers, Hulu shows, Netflix series uh movies like movie what's the word i'm looking for like movies you're binge watching whatever um i just need some content to consume um content mostly consumes me more than i consume it like i like to use things for background noise like i like stuff i can half listen to while i'm editing a video or something um but that's just me you know or like while i'm playing sims i like to have stuff playing in my ear but that's because I have mental illnesses and I need to be constantly stimulated to run from my thoughts so I don't become depressive. But y'all not ready for that conversation. Neither am I. That's why I stopped going to therapy. Anywho, um, yeah, let me know your favorite YouTubers, your favorite series, your favorite um, movie. What's it called when there's like more than one movie? Um, like Harry Potter. That's a movie like not collection but like i don't know words this is what happens when you don't go to college jackie Ina, i love Aaliyah j Ugh, love her i've said that before though i just love i love black women like black women creators i love them diera from like deer and ken i love deer and ken together but like i love diera like as an entity alone. I just love her. Like her personality is so big and cute. And I don't know. She's just so little and cute and fun. I can just give her a hug. I just love black women. I love us. If you're that one person that's gonna comment, like, what about all women? What about men? What about everybody? You should love everybody. Maybe this isn't the channel for you, sweetie. Maybe you should just go somewhere else. I think you wandered to the wrong side of the woods. Okie dokie, my eyes are not done, but they're mostly done. They're done for now. So let's clean up the brat. Oh, that's a lot of concealer. Oopsie poopsie. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have like a little self care day. I'll probably vlog it. And um, these brows are getting plucked because no, like self care is not letting you or anybody you care about walk around with crazy brows. Cause no, do you really care about yourself if your eyebrows look bad? And by that philosophy, I don't ever care about my <laughs> Also, my jewelry rarely ever matches my makeup. Like, in color, style, and um, energy. Like, the vibe is always different. I'm wearing the jewelry of, like, the high school bully that will punch you in the face and likes Paramore. Um, but she's really cool. She gets to dye her hair as many times as she wants. Her parents don't care. Somehow her hair never falls out. You know. Um but my makeup is very much princess bubblegum so that's fun right also i had a video idea of like picking out outfits i want to wear when the quarantine is over <laughs> we are going to be like the most social creatures once this is over because like you think you don't want to go out you think that you don't want to take people's invites and you don't want to hang out all the time but like then something like this happens and it's like I just want to go to the club like girl you don't even like going to the club like but yeah but now I can't now I don't have the option to so it's a myth that hair grows back like thicker or darker or faster or whatever when you shave that's just not true um however <laughs> You don't realize how bad your sideburns are until you shave them off and then they come back. Like, you see how thick this headband is. This is how far, like, into my face my sideburns are coming. I grow the hair of a 45-year-old man. And it's starting to hinder my life. And we're done. 
I love dropping stuff very on brand I was gonna add some crystals to this look but there's literally no point it's 10 4 like I'm going to bed soon I'm gonna bullet journal and go to sleep this is pathetic I'm pretty though and can't nobody take that from me <laughs> I look good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty get ready with me. If you did like this video, then like this video. Subscribe for more videos like this and not like this because I'm mad versatile, okay? I'm not a one trick pony. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! She said I'm a sweeter man, but she said that she don't need a man. I say, why don't we make an agreement then we can just while we're being friends? Girl, I know you wanna, you know I wanna. Girl, I know you wanna, you know I wanna. Shorty, too 